my grub lovers. I'm ready to get that grub on. You know that I am. It's your boy, Mr. Grub, back again with another video for you guys. And today, I'm headed to Steak and Shake. I've never actually eaten there before. As many commercials as I have seen, I've never eaten there before. Uh, you know, but I guess they can't be worse than my experience at Wendy's. I'm hoping so. I'm going to head over there now, check them out, see what they got. Um, you know, the milkshakes do look good, so I'm going to see if uh, their milkshakes are any good, like Sonic's, because right now Sonic's is holding that trophy down, man. So we're going to head over there now, guys, and check them out and put them to the test, because that's what I do. It's your boy, Mr. Grub. I put my order in. Uh, they only got one window, uh, but then after you put your order in, it's you kind of waiting a little bit. So right now I'm I'm waiting uh, for my food. I pull up to wait for my food, so I'm just sitting here waiting. I don't know how long it's gonna be yet, uh, but that's definitely like a a thing for me. If you on lunch and you're trying to get your food, but you gotta wait a certain period of time. So we're gonna see how long this wait is. Sometimes it's worth the wait. We've seen that with Moon Swiner, so. Um, I, I don't knock people out the park just because of that, but uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, so I'm going to sit here and wait a little bit, guys, and get back to you when the food comes. Two hours later. Still sitting here, 30 minutes later, waiting on my food. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be fresh because it seems like they making it, uh, as soon as you put the order in, they making it to go. I mean, I guess I can understand if it's steak that you probably gotta wait, but it's still a fast food restaurant. So it kind of defeats the purpose of calling it fast food when your food don't come fast. So I'm a little disappointed already um, just because I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm waiting, you know what I'm saying? Got the kids waiting. Like, we hungry, man. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all kind of starting off wrong with me already, stay the shape. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't really know what the end result's gonna be, but the food definitely has to be really great to offset this this uh, bad initial performance. So, I'm gonna still continue to wait, guys, and let you guys know how it goes but whenever I do finally get my food. So, it's crazy. After about 35 minutes, finally got my food. Um, this is crazy. I'm gonna let you guys see what all I've got. I went ahead and got the, the they got this, uh, the, the steak break. steak burger uh, so I went ahead and try that and then I also got the, uh, the Oreo milkshake red velvet so I'm gonna try that out too see how that is um, like I said my, my biggest thing was the wait time was, was just too long man like even for food that's really good like you you wait a certain amount of time for you know food when you dining in you know you're sitting at a restaurant it's super packed so you expect to be waiting a little bit, especially when you order steak. But when you're sitting down uh, in the drive-thru, having to pull up and wait that long at a fast food restaurant, it just don't it just don't add up. You know what I mean? It kind of takes the interest out. And what I don't like too is the fact that they don't tell you until after you pay for your food. So now they done got you because you done paid for your food. Now you're like, all right, well, I'll wait a little bit. And you start extending the times because you already paid for it. By the time you, you say, you know what? I'm just getting my money back. I don't even want it. You're already at that mark where you're like, you know what? They might get ready to come out now. They might get ready to come out now. So 
say first up, we got uh, the steak frank. Took it out the packaging, it already had this on here. So that kind of took it away from me too. I don't get me wrong, I like ketchup and mustard. Uh, but I still like to have the option of deciding if I want it. It's like a bacon cheeseburger, but I would say it's kind of dry. Um, the meat's a little dry, so it's not really that juicy. I mean, it does have like mayonnaise, mustard, ketchup on it, cheese. But you, after you chew it, you get the aftertaste where the meat is a little dry. Like I've said, I've eaten good burgers and fried. You guys seen it like airport TV, um, places like that. So, like I said, you know, it was it was okay. 
it wasn't what I expected. Um, and it definitely didn't impress me for future reference. But like I said, they have amazing milkshakes. So if you guys are ever looking for a good milkshake, man, you know, definitely check them out. Steak, Steak and Shake does have uh, amazing milkshakes. Um, other than that, I mean, I wouldn't really overly recommend anything else. That's just that's just my opinion. So until next time, you guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. You know, comment below, you know, if maybe you guys eat there before and there's something special you may recommend from there. Maybe I didn't get it. Uh, you know, let me know what you think either way. And, uh, you know, I might try them out down the road. Maybe it's a location. Who knows, right? Either way, like I said, you know, I know another place. I put them to the test, man, because that's what I do. So, again, until next time, you guys, it's your boy, Mr. Grub.